hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and if you're old welcome back bestie so today we'll be doing this look and if you'd like to see how i achieved this look keep on watching we are going to go with the revolution concealer and just put that all over my eyelid and then I'll use a brush to make sure everything is reaching on each corners of the eyelid. And then I'm going to go in there with a sponge and making sure that the concealer is sitting perfectly on the lid. Then I'm using the Sorcerer X K lid palette and I'm going to take that black shade. And I'm just going to put that at the top of my lid. And I'll just blend it out there with my brush making sure it's reaching from the corners as well. So I'm starting from the corner and going to the end. Of my lid and then I'm gonna go in with that brown shade and I'm going to use a brown shade to blend the black so that it can be more seamless and not to look too much too dark so I'm going to go in again with the revolution concealer again and just do the cut crease there so I'm using that brush and then I went in with a smaller brush to make sure the lines are more precise and then after that, I just went in with its Revolution palette and then I took in that silver shade and I used a brush to put that silver shade all over the eyelid. So I'm just going to pat that all over that eyelid and making sure I'm reaching the ends as well because I'm making a wing. So I just went in with the eyeliner as well. So now we're just drawing the wing there and then I'm going to go in with my CeraVe Moisturizer and I'll put that all over my face and then I'm just going to blend it all out on my face making sure the face is looking good then I'm going with the elf primer and then I'll be putting that all over my face again going in with the elf halo glow setting powder and just put that all over the face and we are definitely glowing girl bruh um was i was glowing too much so I'm just going in with the setting spray there and then I'm using the elf setting spray as well spray spray and then i'm going in with the elf foundation as well in nutmeg and i'm just going to put that all over my face again making sure it's reaching on all the places and then i'm going in with the sponge just to make sure everything is blending out perfectly because this is my first time using that foundation and i was having mixed feelings with this foundation honestly and i'm going in with the revolution concealer and i'm going to put that all around my face so i'm going in with the revolution concealer again in shade c10 and i'm going to put that on my under eye and i'm going to put as well on the outer corner of my eye making sure i don't disturb that wing of course <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in on the nose as well and we'll go on the cheeks and then i'll put on my other cheek as well then i'm going to go back with the shade c15 there by revolution and I'm gonna put that on the side of my nose to contour the nose, you know. So we're going to start blending there. So I started blending with the outer corners of my face. So as you can see there, I mixed the concealers. If you can see a little bit, the white concealer was ending up with the dark one. So I didn't like that. I tried to avoid mixing them as much as possible. So, and I'm going to go in by blending the inner corner on my eyes. And then we're going to go with the outer corner as well. Just making sure that we don't spoil that wing. But if you go through the wing, you can always get back and just add up the eyeliner again. Like, you know. But I was just trying to make sure to be as delicate as possible. So I'm going to go and blend the other eye as well. And then we're going to go in with the cheeks. Just making sure we have the contour going on, you know. And we'll be blending it out so perfectly. And guys, please like, subscribe and hit the bell, of course. So we're going to go in as well with the side of the nose. So I usually start blending with the darker side of my nose. And I don't go in with the lighter part first. Just to make sure they don't mix up as they did there earlier. And now I'm blending in the lighter shade of my nose. So I'm just making sure that we're getting that little nose there, you know. So going back in with the setting powder by e.l.f. again. So that's in the shade Light Clear. And I'm going to put that on my under eye. 
and making sure that I'm dubbing that setting part up perfectly, guys. And then I'm going to go in with the other eye as well. I'm going to put on my under eye and just dab. Making sure I'm dabbing there with that sponge and the powder is sitting right. Then I'm going to go on the nose as well. You know, <laughs> making that nose look good. And then I'm just going to dab again on the nose. And then I'm going to go in with the cheeks as well. And making sure we're getting that contour going on. Then we're going to use the e.l.f. setting spray and just spray all around our face. Then we're going in with the e.l.f. setting powder again. And that's in the shade dark. And I'm going to put that all around my face. So that powder was a little bit glittery. So I went back in with my NYX setting powder. And I'm just going to put that all around my face. You can see my face is already glowing. And I didn't even put any highlighter that's why i went in with the nyx setting powder there so now we're just going to use the elf setting spray and just spray that all around my face and then we will let it dry a little bit going in with the l'oreal mascara and i'm just going to apply that all over my lashes so that's a prep before i put my fake lashes and guys by the way i have a video that shows you how I put on my eyelashes easily and quick. So you guys can just check it out. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush. And I'm going to put that on my brush for me to be able to apply it seamlessly on my cheeks. So I'm just using that blush on my cheeks there. As you can see, it's a light pinkish. So I'm just placing that on my cheeks with the brush. And it's blending much more better with the brush. And now we're going to go in with the Inglot highlighter and I'm just going to use a brush and place it on top of my blush that I used earlier. So I'm just going to go around my cheeks and at the top of my cheeks there. Just making sure it's blending and then I'm putting on the nose as well to have that little glowing nose. So we're going to go in with the Coco Cosmetics Lip Liner and I'm just going to line my lips there. As you can see, trying to make sure we're getting that white lip, you know what I mean? Going in with the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick and I'm just going to place that all around my lips and making sure it's reaching all the right corners and then I'm going to go in with the Shine Gloss as well and I'm just going to put that all around my lips so the gloss is the one that makes it more long wear and yeah that's it so that's the finished look and it came out so bomb I love it even though I had mixed feelings with the foundation, but the look came out so good. So let me know down in the comments below if you try this look. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.